What is going on guys, DBG here, and you know what, I'm uh, I'm gonna be doing what I do every time there's a new pack, because I'm seeing it all over my timeline. I'm seeing people still, to this day, promoting people buying packs. To this day, I'm seeing people promote locking in collections. I'm seeing people promote wasting your MT. To put yourself in locking in stuff, to put yourself in a position where in the future you will have to spend money on this game. I'm seeing people actively encourage this. To this day, we know how much of a scam this My Team Game mode is. But also, with the fact that I'm doing the No Money Spend series, if you guys know, um, or if you guys watch this channel, not only do you guys know that um, it is easy to make MT, as I've shown in a previous video. But it is also easy to take advantage of the people who um, are opening packs for but for no reason. There is no reason to spend money in this game. You should never spend money in this game. If I wasn't making content, I wouldn't. Heck, I didn't even spend my first dollar on NBA 2K until I had 20,000 subscribers. It honestly, it is honestly a case of you should never open packs. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys why. So, again, this is going to be another one of my pack openings. Where unlike showing my highlights, unlike showing screenshots on Twitter, I'm going to show you guys everything. So we are going to open packs until there is 300,000 left. So we will technically open 100 of these. So we're going to open 100 of these. And unless we pull five diamonds, we're going to make a big loss. We're going to make a, not just a loss, a big loss. And you know what? There is the chance to get luck, lucky. But if you guys don't know, I'm on a current streak of over 500 packs. Yes, 500 packs without getting a single pink diamond. I'm on a 500 pack streak. It is the biggest sham, like it's a shambles. This is gambling. And you know what? You don't have to gamble. You don't have to. Tobias Harris, that's a solid, this is a solid, solid card. Probably three, two to three KMT on this system. Probably on PS4 in a day or two, probably eight, six to seven K. He is that, he's gonna be that cheap, trust me. So, also, like that's the thing, there is, there are still people talking about being the 2K pack god. And then there's also people that are talking about being like a pack god, being like, I no money spent pack openings, I spent all this MT on players and I made a profit. Yeah, um, maybe that one single time, but as someone who does that a lot, you will never make MT, you will never make a profit off MT. Like, or, you may, if you do a small amount of the packs, the longer it goes on, the uh, the worse your odds are going to be. And I don't, I do not condone packs straight up. I'm going, you guys know that. And you guys know how much, how easy it is to play this game without opening packs. You guys know that if you're on top of everything with budget cards, you can make such a good squad. Just like, and if you're on top of everything with budget cards, when they get rarer, you're gonna make a ton of MT. It's like Jeff Petrie. Jeff Petrie is like 30, 40 K MT. Like, I was, I was talking about that car when he was 9, 10 KMT. Like, they're the type of things where... And Devontae Graham. Again, he might go down in price a little bit because there's an Amethyst out. But his Ruby was 10, 11 KMT. You could have picked him up for 1, 2 KMT. Jam around. You, if you guys keep on top of budget cards, when people realize how good these budget cards are, and the um, longer it kind of goes with the cards being out of packs and the rarer they get, it's going to be a case of you making more and more MT. So great, great, pull the diamond. I will take that. We got Joel Embiid. So that is a guy that I'm gonna do a gameplay with straight away. Um, do I think he's gonna be this end game, like dominant center card? Not a chance. Is he one of the best cards in the game right now? Yes, he is. So we are currently through, I don't even know how many packs. We're through like four minutes of this video. We are through, we're not through that many packs. We're only through about 60K. So we opened 10 and we managed to pull one uh, diamond. So I actually think, if I keep my pack, if I pull one diamond every 10 packs, if I keep this luck up, um, it's going to be, I'm going to make a profit. Although long term, I'm definitely going to make a loss on these packs, but if I do keep pulling, the, if I do keep the luck up the same, I'm going to make a profit. But like each of these packs, even if I sold every card in these packs, I'd be making an average loss of about 3,000 MT per pack. And that's probably, like, probably 8 packs out of 10 is going to be a loss of at least that. Like these cards right here, this is a loss of probably... Even if I sold the Tatum, is a loss of 5k MT. So, like, you're making a loss in every one of these packs. And it's just, it's one of those, it's the reason why I make these videos. And they're not for entertainment purposes. 
They are not. They're for, so that somebody can stumble around or can stumble along and find um, find these type of packs or find these videos and think, okay, maybe uh, maybe I shouldn't open these packs. Maybe I should just save up the MT and buy some budget cards. Because we got Bam in a bio who's going to be worth nothing. It was absolutely terrible. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to leave now and speed up until I get my next Amethyst card or higher. Okay, so this is good. Another diamond. Um, not too bad. Uh, we got caught. We actually got the two diamonds we wanted. Um, so yeah, that's a good one. We got the two diamonds we wanted. The two that we didn't really want, we didn't get. So I'll take that. I'm probably gonna upload these two videos. No, I'm, I'm gonna upload one going over the stats. I'm probably gonna upload this pack opening, and then I'm probably going to. Upload a video where I, I don't know, where I kind of go over what gameplays these want, actually. Because obviously I'm going to do my No Money Spend episode, I'm going to get my Norman Powell, do an episode based on him, and I'm, not, I'm probably going to do Carol Anthony Townsend and B today. Oh my god, we pulled another diamond. Okay. Okay, look, look is good. Carl Anthony Towns. We're getting lucky right now. Will I say that these packs are juiced? No. Will I suggest you guys to buy packs? No. But for these specific packs, for this 200 or so, okay. Sample out of my options, we have gotten lucky. So, I'm going to check what price Carl Anthony Towns is first. But the fact is that we got that many of him is definitely a positive. So, Carl Anthony Towns, color, diamond. I'm guessing he's a buy it already. Yeah, he is like 70k, 69k. So in this system, anyway, I'm already making a loss. So let's just let's just take what we can get. Let's just put him up for 54,700, way cheaper, just to get a little bit empty, just to guarantee he sells. And let's go back to league moments packs. Okay, so another amethyst right here. Devante Green would be an ideal person to get here. Just because you don't really have him, bam and bio. I'm just gonna discard him. There is no reason. If Carl Anthony Towns is that cheap, there is no way that Bam and Bio is going to could be going for more than 5k. And at this stage, that is just too much of a hassle to sell a card for that price. So I'll just take the 1k for the discard. Okay, another Amethyst. I just want Devontae Graham to stage. You've gotten two of all the other ones. And we got a third bomb out of bio. Uh, that is a, uh, that is not great. That is not great. We want Devontae Graham and we want the two diamonds, but that is, that's really it. Other than that, the rest of these packs won't be great, but you know what, we probably, I'm not gonna say we broke. I don't know, we probably dare or dare about broke even with our pack so far. Um. But I can't see us continuing with the break even as these packs go on. Okay, we got a diamond. Kemba, 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 it's Kemba, let's go! Alright, so we pulled pretty much everyone we wanted to pull. Are they the Ray Allen Jordan? I don't know what year that was. 13s? <laughs> uh, that's my... Oh no, Jordan 10. 10s? I'm not sure. Don't uh, don't uh, quote me on my Jordan knowledge. It's not great. <laughs> um, K 
Okay, so we actually got a diamond and an amethyst back to back. So I'd say still to this stage, we're probably close to breaking even on this pack opening. I don't think we're making any profit, but again, I don't think it's much of a loss. And Batman and Bio is wearing the same shoes there. Finally! Finally! It took this long to get uh, the Amethyst Devante Graham. So, the only guard we have not pulled is Jaron Jackson Jr. And if you guys watched my video earlier, it is essentially the exact same stats as um, the, uh, the the Diamond Jaron Jackson Jr. It's basically the exact same stats as the Amethyst, so I don't really care too much about it, to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna be on to our last probably nine or eight or nine packs right here. So they're gonna open till 300k. And I was about to say, you know what? After initial great start, we kind of cooled off, but we've just pulled them all. So I'd say, I'd say we were close to breaking even. This is definitely one of our better pack openings. We pulled every single card. We, then again, we have opened 100 packs. So it is what it is. It actually was about 350k to get one Norman Powell. And then we just kept getting Norman Powell after Norman Powell after Norman Powell, which was a little bit ridiculous. But you know what? It wasn't uh, anywhere near the biggest disaster of pack opening. It could have been significantly worse than this. And we've gotten gameplays with all these guys. So leave in the comments what you guys want. Because obviously, um, I'm going to be doing a Joel Embiid and Carl Anthony Towns gameplay straight away. And that'll probably be out before this video. But um, you guys want any other specific ones um just leave a like and i will do them i'll try to get them done then or just leave in the comment section so yeah not um not bad so far not a bad start at all we're not about pack opening so we still got a couple more packs to go and that's one of the weird things with these is like they gave carl anthony towns range extender and jaron jackson jr who hit nine of them is like the same as his uh it's like the exact same as Amethyst card, which is extremely, extremely disappointing. But that's just kind of 2K logic, isn't it? Um, these cards don't really make much sense, these moments cards. No cards reading this game make sense. But as far as the budget ones go, like, I think some of them could be okay. I think some of these budget cards could be all right. Like, I'm going to probably pick up the three um, really cheap ones on my No Money Spent squad today. Um, because we've got... We've got plenty of MT to work with, so there's no reason not to. But uh, yeah, so I think in general we're uh, we're okay. We're doing okay. Um, the channel's going well at the minute. Um, 2K are actually releasing good content. But again, as always with these videos, um, they are just to show how bad packs are. Funny thing is, we haven't actually pulled the current Amethyst, and we got another Devonte Graham. Not gonna sell for anything. But that's the thing, is like it took me so long to get one Devontae Gray, and then we go and pull two in uh, such a short time. But Devontae Gray's been great this year. He has been great this year. There is a. Uh, I'm shocked he's this he's been this good for the Hornets. So now we're on to our last pack. And we go and get Valentunas. So like we pulled one dupe Carl Anthony Towns and we pulled the other four. So we pulled five diamonds in hundred packs. So there's one diamond every 20 packs. Like, look, it wasn't the best pack opening, wasn't the worst, could have been better. But then again, there's been so, so many worst pack openings. So I'm actually kind of surprised. I wouldn't be surprised to bring back Legacy Packs soon if they release a Legacy Pack. So actually, two days, 18 hours. So does this end on Thursday? This does end on Thursday. So we're probably getting, on Thursday, we're probably getting um, a new set of packs, which... I don't know if that's necessarily a good or a bad thing, but um, I'll take it, I guess. It means that there's not as much of a, it means it's gonna be a longer weekend, but there's not as much time to, um, time between them all. Or there's not as much of a gap between like when we get two packs, it's only gonna be tomorrow or Wednesday. So um, yeah, so anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.